I'm back! As you just saw in that dramatic new intro, I have a haircut and I am now practically bald. No, I am not joining the military. No, I did not get a crew cut. I had my cousin Danny, aka Tommy Hughes, for all those of you that uh, used to watch all my older videos, he, his, he did a Tommy Hughes skit. And uh, anyway, yeah, my cousin Danny cut my hair and it is really, really short. So that's with that one so far. I do have a lead, by the way. I got in touch with somebody yesterday at the flea market that claims they got a Nintendo in the box with the styrofoam and they also claim they got a Super Nintendo and a 64 and about 25, 30 games for each system. So I might be going after the store to look at that. If that comes or if I can get a hold of that tonight, that would be awesome. I'd love to show you guys some more good stuff because I actually enjoy, I enjoy the hunt because you, you never know what you're going to find. One second you can find nothing. You know, like one game, all sport games, and then in one bundle you can find Earthbound Stadium events, whatever. You know, you never know. You just never know. It could be nothing or it could be the biggest score of your entire life. And that's what makes this job so enjoyable for me because, you know, yeah, sometimes you don't make a lot of money. Sometimes the store is not making a whole bunch of money, but uh, sometimes it does. You know, sometimes you just, you just hit gold. So I will see you guys uh, in a second, a little bit later. Um, and yeah, that's it for now. Woo! We're doing some discussion here in the Game Wizard 2. Uh, look at the, sh the shelves. There's games all up. Uh, we got Raptor in here. Apparently Josh is uh, trying to hire people. And uh, let's see what they're doing. And get the hook things and put each one of them. Is it a smart TV? On there. Hi, Aaron. Hi. I won't film the game he's playing, but you can hear. Anyway, Josh, uh, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go make some money, and I will uh, see you later. Woohoo! Well, today in trades, we got Ultimate Board Game Collection, Rock Band, All Star Cheer Squad, and then we got here's some of the better stuff: uh, Animal Crossing City Folk. This one's halfway decent on uh, eBay anyway. Sonic Adventure Battle 2 for GameCube. That's not actually Monkey Ball. Inside is uh, Animal Crossing for the GameCube. We got Bratz. And we also got Ty the Tasmanian Tiger for GameCube. So a couple GameCube games. Uh, I'm going to look at a lot a little bit later today. I can tell you it, there is a box Nintendo and there is a bunch of NES games. So uh, we will be, I'll be seeing that in a second. Uh, hopefully later on the night around 7 o'clock. And I will let you guys, I'll update you guys when I'm there. And yeah, so I'll see you guys then. Oh, guess what, Joshy? Uh, I went and picked up that bundle. Um, I got. I got a PS4, so it don't matter. Here's the. Well, these are the basics: NBA jams, uh, Mario Karts, uh, Mario Party, Mario Might Kart, NBA Jam. I got a uh, box Nintendo, but he didn't have the actual <laughs> box, so I got the styrofoam. What? And then I got three Nintendos and a 64 with two good controllers. I also okay. got, I got, no, no, I got Zelda on the, oh, whoa, I look, I look weird. Zelda on what? Zelda on the NES, and I also got Donkey Kong on the NES, and a couple other ones. Oh, yeah, you're going to be wanting to do some tweeting. Ha! Which but, yeah, one? yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going Which inside. Look at this. And I wouldn't do couches. Cash register. Couches Stand. Only five so they're already getting getting things ready. In the back discussing stuff. I'm going to go back outside with Josh. But yeah, that's the new cash wrap. But the cash registers go in. And uh, yeah, you just heard the ding. When you walk in, you hear a ding. And uh, yeah, Game Wizard 2 is uh, well underway. Woo! Well, or if you get the long one again. Josh thinks he's going to get me. On my good stuff, so he can have good stuff for grand opening. But well, you know, grand opening might not happen because he's not even ready to open yet. How about this, Josh? Uh, I want. Oh wait, hold on. Do you got Black Ops? Oh, by the way, um, hold on. We'll be right back. I gotta discuss it with Josh off camera. So my question, since I see this uh, this Mac here, um, and you said that there was a baseball card guy, did he ever show up? No. No. 
So are you guys going to actually even be a game store or are you going to be a hobby shop? Because from what I'm hearing, if you do more than just video games, you are a hobby shop. shop. No, it's not. No? Oh. No, I, I was going to keep it a game store. There I was we go. going to have to pay the license. Yeah, license. License and taxes and fees and insurance. Well, we're going to leave Josh here in the store and we're going to go back to, uh, to, to uh, a good store. Yeah. Woo! Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can hear and see, my doors are open and I have no power. Uh, yes, we actually can afford to pay the light bill. That's not what happened. I know that's what you're all thinking. Uh, apparently, uh, a couple blocks of this area of Seminole Boulevard, apparently now the power has gone out everywhere. And there's like no power, anything, everything just shut off. I left my mom in the store. I was going out, uh, taking Laura to work. And I came back and I walked in, lights were on, and then boom, everything just went out. So I guess the electric company's going to work on it in the meantime. Oh, and tomorrow... Uh, there's a really special surprise. I want to tell you so bad what it is, but I might be picking up uh, Well, I'll just say another kiosk. So uh, Keep that in the back of your mind for later on in this video. I, w I really want to pick it up uh, He was asking a little high for it, but I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of him later today If maybe hopefully the lights come back on I could charge my phone Maybe and I'm gonna try and trade him some stuff So, so maybe do store credit because he owns a store as well up where he's at uh, it's also in Florida. He's like four or five hours away. So we're going to try and work something out. And if we can work something out, I will have another kiosk tomorrow. Uh, the lights are off, so I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, hopefully uh, Duke Energy can come in here and uh, get my lights back on. Woo! Yeah, minor little update. Uh, power is back on. It uh, came on like about five minutes after I filmed that last clip. So disregard the power outage message because the power was out but they got it back on relatively fast so yay me wow so um yes I got a package in the mail today and I'm really excited about this package today is gonna be a really big day I got a guy on his way from Tallahassee he's four hours away and he's bringing something that when you guys see it you might just fall flat on your face and be like, what, why? What's the point? What is the point of you and your little tomfoolery and you're just aimlessly throwing games and money around for just random, extremely rare stuff? But uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. For now, let's get to the package. Woo! My favorite part of this is the unboxing. Ooh. What could this be? We have Mario 3! Woohoo! Yay, Mario 3. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Hold on. What is all this? Ooh, here's some more stuff. We have Mortal Kombat 2, Mario World, Pilot Wings. And then what's down in here? Oh, hold on. What is this? Video Game Wizard, number one in retro gaming. For, oh wow, this is awesome. For, for your efforts in keeping retro gaming alive and in the people you help on a day-to-day -day basis, your love of games may be Nintendo, Super NES, Sega, PlayStation, Xbox, and 360. Aaron Kosharski is giving recognition and a thank you for all your hard work you do at Video Game Wizard no, store number one. Your YouTube channel and the flea market. I'd like to, I'd like to give you a thank you, and a pat on the back. Thank you. Oh, by the way, this package came from the guy. We've been doing a lot of business. His name is Scott Reese. Uh, he wanted me to say his name on camera, so Scott Reese. Uh, this shout out's for you. And thanks for all the wonderful games. There's also a, an, an intailed or detailed list of all the stuff that he sent me. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is some pretty awesome stuff. And actually, hold on a second. I'll be back in a second. Here's the rest of the stuff. Fantasy Star. True Crime. 
uh, to the Tasmanian Tiger 3. And over here, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. A Mario. And then we got Zelda. Link. Zelda 2. And then we got Mega Man Deuce. Ghost. And Mega Man Trace. Mega Man 2 and 3. So, yeah, that's a very nice little pickup for me. I got some Mega Mans in there. Those are always good sellers for me at the store. I got Mario 3, which that's really good seller. I mean, things are just uh, just doing good right now, actually, for me. Uh, I might be on an uptick. I'm hoping. Uh, YouTube's starting to bring me in a little bit of money, finally. Uh, I've been waiting for that for a while, but yeah, I'm finally getting paid. And, uh, yeah, Scott was at a Retro Palooza actually, and he did a panel, and I was watching the video, and at the t in, t in the middle of the video, uh, one of the other YouTubers, the, the guy from Canada, Scott, uh, Grimsey, uh, anyway, he, uh, he was actually rapping one of my songs. He was actually rapping the theme song, the one that you guys love so much. Uh, he's like, Laurel's here, and she's looking really cute. She's, a <laughs> he was like rapping it off, and I'm like, huh. It was funny. And then at the end of the video, when the camera guy from Retropalooza asked if I was a real person, and at the end of the video, um, he went to go shut off the camera, and he's like, Woo! Aaron, that's for you! Or something like that. And I'm like, wow. That's how you know you've made it when people from Texas at Retropalooza are actually, you know, recognizing you as an actual person and not just a clown on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm finally... Uh, getting out maybe and uh, as soon as my surprise for you shows up I will definitely be out there filming it because you guys are gonna love it and uh, that boy right there let's just say uh, he might have a little baby sister I just made a trade some guy came in he wanted a Super Nintendo he got my last one but I got a copy of Mario 64 I also got another copy of this one, which actually trades in for good money. It's like a $22 trade right now, according to my app. Uh, I also got this cool little thing. Uh, it's a Halo toy. I don't really sell toys, but I got that also in the trade. And I figured, and he also threw in 10 bucks too. So I don't think I didn't, you know. I basically, the Connect Rivals is 20 Mario 64, I can pull like 15 to 20 out of. So I figure there's about what the system we go for. You know, and then I got the Halo figure, and I didn't even mention this one because this doesn't really even count as part of a trade, but he did throw in ATV, but I don't really count that as an actual video game, personally, because I have like 20 copies, and I'm trying to get like 3 or 4 bucks for them, and they are not even selling for that, so, but I mean, some people enjoy the game, it's just, it's just not my thing, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I made him, I had him throw in $10 to make it a decent deal, and I'm getting a little nervous because the guy's going to be here in like 30 minutes with, uh, with my little surprise for you guys, and it's going to be glorious, well trust me, it is going to be glorious, this will be my pickup for the week, this will be my big pickup for the week, you know, big pickup for a while actually, uh, and, uh, yeah, so, stay tuned, woo! Everybody. Everybody on YouTube, he's here. It's showtime. Woo! I'd go. I would go, Josh, but I'm busy looking at my Pokemon Snap Station. <laughs> and yes, I just said Pokemon Snap Station. Well, I just made an $800 deal or no deal, and it went down. And as you saw. Looky here, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to officially present you with the baby of the hour. This bad boy, stained with steel, top to bottom, yellow, blue, Pokemon edition, Pokemon Snap edition, Pokemon Snap station. What this, what this here is, um, this is a piece of video game history. Uh, game, there's, uh, look at that. That is awesome. Pokemon Snap station. This thing is like amazing what, what what this was was back in the day uh, blockbuster video had these and you'd have to purchase little like here it says right there you purchase the little Nintendo prepaid card stick it in the slot and then you could stick uh, well there, there, there's the, where the printer paper I think comes out or down here down there's where there's where it prints comes with a printer a system it's got an expansion pack I can stick any game in there but I think you can only print with the Pokemon Stadium and the um, 
and, and the Pokemon Snap games. I think those are the only two because it says on the side, and yeah, it says Pokemon Stadium and Snap. But this thing is worth God, God knows how much. I mean, the guys wanted 800. They wouldn't budge really on the price. I ended up giving them roughly around 8, 850 in worth of stuff. It, well, not like worth of stuff, but it was it was a total value trade like I gave them a $50 gas card so that they'd have gas to get back because they came all the way from Tallahassee it was like a four or five hour drive they got a store way up there um, so yeah I gave them a $50 gas card I gave them about $300 worth of sealed Mario stuff you know I counted those at like 20 piece roughly uh, I gave them a deal only because I wanted this thing really bad and I also ended up giving them uh, another four hundred dollars there, so four hundred there, four hundred dollars worth of good stuff, um, three hundred dollars in sealed Mario's, and then a hundred dollars cash because they, they they wanted to walk with some kind of cash. They didn't want it to just be a straight up trade, but and I would have had to give them like three four hundred, but luckily I had the sealed Mario's and the sealed Mario's saved my butt again. So, I mean I'm a little low on the sealed Mario's now, but hey. I have, I have this. Th this is better than that. I can go to Walmart, GameStop. I can go anywhere and get that stuff. This, trust me, you guys will not see this. Again, I've looked on eBay. I've been looking. The only thing you'll find on eBay, you'll find the prepaid cards with the ink and with the printer stuff maybe. And I saw one ad that had the actual printer, but that ad they wanted like two, $300 for just the printer, the ink, and the, and the little cards. And just for ink and the, and the picture paper, it's like 60 bucks. So, I mean... This thing's not cheap. You know, if I if I was ever gonna sell, he actually told me if I was ever gonna sell it, that it had to go straight back to him. Uh, so that's probably you know if I do ever decide to sell, but I don't really think I'm gonna sell it uh, unless like I get real desperate for money, which hopefully that won't happen. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I got this. It's a Pokemon Pokemon Snap Station kiosk. It's got a controller down here, similar to the ones that I already have over there. On this, on this one, and yeah, so, um, welcome to the family Pikachu. Pika, Pika, choo! Hey, Pikachu. Hey, Pokemon Snap Station. Pikachu says goodbye for now. I say for goodbye for now. I'm leaving the store. Um, yeah, that actually just happened. Uh, I'm in shock. Just, like, the things that I find that I just, I never thought I would see something like this ever again, actually. It's, it, it moves me to tears, actually. This is, this is, this is something, something awesome. I will hold on to it and cherish it for as long as possible. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the store. Uh, Pika! Uh, Laurel's here in the store. I'm here in the store. The kiosk is here. Uh, it's Friday, and we're packing up, getting ready to to go home. It's been a long, grueling week. Uh, not a whole lot of money was made. I mean, I did pick up that, which I don't know how that happened, but I'm kind of excited about that one anyway. Um, yeah, Laura's excited. She's in the background saying woohoo. And uh, tell me what you guys think about this. I was considering possibly getting shirts made at some point in the future. That uh, that have like my picture, and then underneath it says "woo," you know. Tell me what you think about that, because Scott Scott was telling me that he wants me to to market the woo and make it more of a thing than it is. But uh, well, I had a question. I forgot. Uh, Laurel had a question. Uh, do you remember what it was? Uh, okay. Well, tune in. Probably something negative towards me. Tune into the store question, because next week Laurel's gonna have a question for you guys probably. Uh, and until next they week. won't see this till Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, yeah, they're not going to see this for a few days. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys all next week.